Miles from Pure Investments and today I'm going to make another video to the trading tip series and this topic is on Bollinger Bands. This is a tool that I like to use frequently. Um, this, unlike the other indicators that I've talked about previously, this does not um, somewhat indicate whether a coin is going to go bullish or bearish but it instead gives us a good re um, reading of the coin's volatility and whether it's going to break. Um, it could break up or it could break down, um, but like I'll explain later in the video, this is something best paired with other indicators, not just this one standalone. So, in order to pull up Bollinger Bands on TradingView, you're going to click on Indicators and type in Bollinger Bands. I'm going to star this because I use it quite frequently. And as you can see, your chart updated with three new lines and some coloring in between the lines. So let me make some sense of what you are seeing right now. This um, line in the middle right here is the moving average over 20 day period. Um, so if it's here, it's split between 20 days going each way. Um, with the upper and lower bounds indicating the standard deviation away from this line, um, which I will explain in another video. Um, so currently, this gives you a good idea of price volatility. Um, what we tend to look for with Bollinger Bands is something we call a squeeze. Um, so, you might have heard um, me frequently mention the word, there's a Bollinger Band squeeze, I think things are going to move volatile, it could go crazy up or it could go crazy down. So basically, when Bollinger Bands are squeezing together, meaning they're getting very close, um, such as this point, this point, um, and this point over here, that means that volatile volatility is going up. Volatility means that there are major changes very quickly, so something could swing upwards or it can swing downwards. So closer together, closer means volatility goes up, and the opposite, further, means that a coin stays stable, so volatility is down. Um, as we can see, um, in the areas that the coin starts to even out, and I know I say stabilize and this definitely doesn't look stable, but it does, the price averages out and starts to become more stable. So when you see that the bands are far away from each other, that's a good indication that this price is going to start stabilizing and moving sideways rather than upwards. Um, as you can see by these different scenarios, um, squeezing of the bands means that the coin could go in a crazy direction either up or down, where we had a squeeze here, um, meaning the price was sent down here a good percentage, we had a squeeze here, which meant the price shot up. We had another squeeze here, and it shot up. Um, so it's a good idea to know when um, the coin's going to make some crazy moves. I always look for the really tight squeezes, because the tighter the squeeze, the more volatile the movement's going to be. As we see, we had a big um, difference between the upper and lower bounds here. It got tighter and then even more tighter and the fact that it kept getting smaller and smaller meant that there was room for a huge explosion. And the fact that we had this giant area of um, a major difference between the upper and lower bands, we're probably going to have some price stabilization for a few days. So another thing to look at to kind of get an idea of the direction is the 20 day moving average. So we learned in previous videos what the moving average is and the short term moving average um, only lasts for about 20 days. Um, it's a good indication on how this coin is moving during the monthly period. Um, so 
If we see that we're squeezing and we're slowly pointing upwards, that's a good indication that we might see some bullish movement. Whereas, if we see that this moving average is starting to move down and it's squeezing, then we could see some major crashing. So this is kind of like the RSI in which it moves with the trading volume, but this is for, again, a 20-day scale compared to RSI, which you could set for the 1-hour view, or the 4-hour, or the day, whichever. There's a lot of options. Um, so this is more good of looking in time terms of short-term trading. I like to... Um, look at coins that I'm going to day trade or hold for a couple days. Um, in Bollinger Bands gives me a good pick for which coins might move soon because I'm always looking for the coin that's going to profit me the quickest. Uh, this was a short video because Bollinger Bands are a very simple and easy topic to look into and there's not much else to it. Um, if you enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe and again follow this series for more videos that will explain techniques um, as well as important indicators. One more thing that I forgot to mention is we have these moments where candles stick outwards of um, the Bollinger Band bounds. So these are actually important indicators because whether a coin breaks below or above a limit, um, it tends to mean that the coin's going to follow the trend for a longer time. So if we saw that it broke out of the upper bound, it's probably going to move upwards for a while, as we can see by this five-day period. Or we can see if it's falling out of um, below the lower band, that means for a few days, such as this three-day period, it's going to continue to fall at a very low rate. Uh, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next video.